In this video, I'm going to show you guys the best keybinds to start out with in the new season. The goal of this video is to give you guys the best possible binds so that you can start out with them, but also be able to use them for the majority of your time spent playing Fortnite. Since the target audience of this video is for beginners, I'm not going to include the mouse side buttons that you can see on your screen right now. I highly recommend placing them though if you have them, but if you don't, then this video will still work for you, don't you worry. Obviously, we're gonna have the standard WASD that's not gonna go anywhere. We're gonna have spacebar for jumping, and then we're gonna have caps lock for sprinting. Caps lock's tactical sprinting is really good because your pinky can press it without any problem whatsoever. And then we're gonna have crouch on left control. Now, if you have a smaller pinky, or a weaker pinky, left shift should be your alternative. Other than that, this is a pretty good set of binds for movement. Obviously, we're gonna have fire, target, and toggle scope mode on the default ones. For reloading, we're gonna have R, which is basically just R for reloading. For use, we're gonna have the mouse scroll wheel up. Now, this might be a little bit confusing to you, but this is why I'm going to recommend tap to search slash interact on on. The reason for this is that you can use your scroll wheel to interact slash search, which is probably a better option than having one of the buttons on your keyboard. E can be a good alternative if you don't want to have mouse wheel up as your use button. For the harvesting tool, weapon slots, I highly recommend going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in this order. And for the fifth weapon, I recommend going for X, Z, or C. Because if you have this on 6, then you're probably going to struggle with tapping it, especially if you're hovering over WASD. Mostly prefer X because it's really just underneath the letter D. Now, I also highly recommend having harvesting tool on 1, mainly because some of the more important buttons on the keyboard right next to WASD shouldn't be placed on just your pickaxe or your harvest tool. Now let's move on to the building and editing sections of the binds. These are probably the most important, so make sure you listen in. Obviously, we're gonna have whatever crouch button we have on crouch while building as well as crouch while editing. So since I have left control, I'll put this on left control. For the wall, we're gonna have Q. For the floor, we're gonna have C. For the stairs, we're gonna have F. And for the roof, we're gonna have left shift. Some of these are interchangeable based on your preference. Obviously, they're not perfect, especially floor and stairs. You're gonna have to like be moving your fingers really fast. For the roofs or the cones though, it doesn't really matter if you move it somewhere around the Z, X, C, V. I just put it on shift because I highly recommend having your pinky do some of the actions for you. But if you don't want that or if you have a weaker pinky, then sure, you can go for Z, X, C, and V for roof. For trap, we're gonna have T. Obviously, for place building, we're gonna have the left mouse button. For repair slash upgrading, we're gonna have H. For rotating the builds, I'm gonna have G. For changing building material, we're gonna have right mouse button. For building edit, we're gonna have E. And then for reset building edit, we're gonna have the right mouse button. But for the secondary options or the secondary binds, we're gonna put that on mouse wheel down. Basically, if you put mouse wheel down on reset building edit on its second like layer, and if you put building edit as mouse wheel down on its second layer also, you're gonna be able to use scroll wheel reset, which in my opinion is just a good way to be a quick editor. I highly recommend it, especially if you're a beginner. This is probably one of the more influential changes you'll see in your Fortnite career. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did, subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Otherwise, that's it for me, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye!